We're in the studio today again, per usual, but without power. Lacking electricity, I don't know why I don't have power, but it's okay, you don't need power to paint. And that's what we're doing today, a self-portrait with oil painting. You know, I've been wanting to make this video for a super long time, actually. Every, you know, 90% of things I post on YouTube is like street art, graffiti, kind of my styled work. But within the pie chart of the creative endeavors I do and the time I spend, half of it is actually graffiti, my style. Half of it is more traditional, classic, fine arts. And I love them equally. I just don't share as much as the other stuff because it's more practicing and trying to get better to obtain these skills. And it's more technical training. You know, you're just drawing, practicing, rather than, you know, making wild, crazy characters and cool stencil projects, which is more fun to film and make videos of. <gasps> but we're gonna talk about the oil painting traditional um, drawing side and I'm super pumped about it. And so I actually recently got back from a trip to Florence, Italy. It was through my school learning under this wonderful instructor, this teacher, and it was a painting workshop. Yeah, so I just wanted to show a couple clips and just things from that trip. That's why I haven't uploaded in kind of like three weeks. But um, you know, I'm back, I'm super inspired and I'm gonna run through some of my paintings here, a little sequence. And you know, my the school I went to, I decided to go to this atelier full time about a year ago to push myself into the realm of more professionalism and really develop skills um, that will behoove my artistic career to learn properly and it's not properly the only way but in painting from observation there's strategies and tools and you know techniques that are really fundamental and that's why I wanted to go to learn those things. You know, I do drawings, paintings, and it's funny, you know, there, you've seen a lot of nudity. Hopefully this <laughs> um, video won't get demonetized, but there's a lot of nudity in traditional fine art, especially obviously painting the figure. You want a person naked standing in front of you while you paint or draw to see the human anatomy, to see the skin and flesh tones. It's all beautiful, so yeah, people stand in front of you naked for hours and you paint or draw them. But you know, that's kind of it. If you're wondering about, you know, art schools and ateliers and traditional drawing and painting, you can DM me on Instagram and ask, but I don't really want to rant any longer. This is that, it's just the compartment in my life where I really want to improve over the years and really develop myself as an artist. And those skills at this school that I'm learning from and techniques inform everything I do within art and creation. A little here, a little there, you know, experimenting with different styles, learning properly. It's a big circle, a big cauldron of learning and experience. So self-portrait, you know, moving right on. This is a beautiful photo of myself that my roommate took, you know, some intense light coming from the window and the red reflected light from the shirt. I just thought it'd be perfect to paint and it's very, you know, contrasted values. And so I did a drawing beforehand. Here it is. I'll show you the little time lapse. And I do this because I really just want to get familiar. And this is a value study. Value meaning light and dark. That's why there's no color, obviously. It's a toned piece of paper, so I can get that white pencil in there. And yeah, it was a good little study and just figuring out what's what, where the values are, and also proportion and structure. Now, back in the studio, I'm actually just gonna trace this blown up photo of myself onto the canvas, just the major shapes and features because it's specifically a color study. You know, I'm not worrying about the composition of proportions and structure. That's why I did this drawing. The painting is focused all on the colors and the values. That's why I have these things right here. So that's kind of the plan. Uh, I don't know really what else to say. I'm super excited. Art is awesome. And I just wanted to say in this video, there's a lot of ways to do art. There's not one way to improve. There's not the right way to draw or paint. For my experience, what I wanna do, that's why I'm going to this school, but also why I do all these other crazy things. And it's all wonderful, it's all happy, and I love all of it, all aspects, you know, the different compartments of painting and drawing. So let's, uh, let's get the canvas ready and start it. So it's carbon copied onto this loose piece of linen spray fix so the charcoal's not going nowhere. And actually, you know, these lines 
that you saw that I kind of drew in the center, those are to delineate where the shadow shapes are. And that's what I'm gonna kind of be painting, the shadow shapes. That's kind of like the mini strategy we're gonna go with. I might actually even pre-mix colors, but I'm not sure yet. Let's go. So it's been a little over three hours, you know, we've gotten most of it there, you know, struggling and also triumphantly executing the values and colors. That's the main focus of this painting. And it's just the classic roller coaster of emotions. You know, I think I'm gonna paint until it gets dark out because I just wanna see how far I could push it. It's pretty funny, this is like a horror scene for me. It's just all my faces, it's pretty funny. My palette is an absolute mess. And that's one of my issues that I struggle with, is I don't have a clean palette, I don't mix paint efficiently, I'm not very organized within that realm. And that's an important thing, I think, and something I'm working on. So I'm gonna reset, I'm gonna clean up the palette and kind of reset. So that's the um, absolute plan. And we're gonna just keep pushing her, see how far we can get, and then uh, finish her on up. So this whole video talking about kind of the other compartments within my creative, you know, experience. This is practice, you know, I don't consider this, you know, artwork that I want to show people or how I express myself. This is specifically training my eyes to see color and replicate color, to see value. Obviously it's a painting, I'm gonna keep it, I can hang it up, I can give it to my mom, but the purpose and agenda behind this was to learn and practice. And so yeah, it came out fine, you know, it was longer than I perhaps thought, but I think I did get, you know, the colors pretty close. The proportions might have gotten a teensy bit tweaked out within the uh, modeling of the oil, but all in all it was a good day of painting and practice. So yeah, like the schniz out of this video if you want to see more oil paintings. I think I'm definitely going to upload more of these because they're pretty easy. You know, one day paintings and then uploading the video. It doesn't take me a week and a half like the other big projects, but you know, certainly expect all those good things. And follow me on Instagram because I post actually those progress shots of oil paintings um, within my classes also within this studio. So if you want to kind of see the real time behind the scenes, follow me over there. And uh, yeah, 